Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about comparing Super C RVs with Class A diesel pusher RVs. Now Super Cs are becoming a lot more common now. We're seeing them more and more on the road. There's more manufacturers making them and so on. But the thing to understand is that Super Cs are really in a, a class or a category all by themselves. A little while back, I made a video on comparing Class C RVs to Class A RVs. And I got a little bit of uh, feedback on that, that, hey, you didn't include Super Cs. Well, that's because Super Cs <laughs> really don't belong in the general Class C category. They're a whole different animal altogether. They're really more like Class A's because of their size and because of the power that they have. In fact, uh, many of the Super Cs these days are being built on commercial type uh, truck chassis, you know, like Freightliner and Volvo and that kind of thing. So they have a lot of strength and power. And uh, the Class A that we're going to compare them with today is not really the gasser uh, Class A because it doesn't really fit to compare gasoline engines and what they can do to diesel engines. But you can make a very fair comparison between diesel pusher Class A's and Super C. So that's what we're going to do. And the first thing to recognize is that both of them have some things in common. And the thing that they have in common is essentially they're at the very high end of the RV market, both Super C's and diesel pushers. They offer a lot of options and luxuries that you just can't offer in other RVs because of the weight that they can sustain and carry around. So in that respect, they're very similar. But let's get into the comparison. And so we'll start off with the pros of the Super C when compared to diesel pushers. And the number one pro, and this is really important with Super Cs, is their towing capacity. My goodness, they can tow some serious weight. Most Class A diesel pushers are probably going to max out around 10,000 pounds for towing. Well, when you're talking about uh, these Super Cs, they can go 20 to 30,000 pounds, sometimes even much more. So if you've got a, a big heavy trailer that you're pulling with your RV, well then a Super C is a really good choice. It's ready for towing. Now the second pro is that you have driver and passenger doors on the Super C. And a lot of people like that. You know, they don't have to get up and go through the living area to get out of the coach, or they don't have to just have one side access point. Either person has their own door to get in and out. And a lot of people feel it's a little easier getting in and out with those driver doors. Now, the third pro is there's more safety features generally speaking, in the Super C than you're going to find in the Class A diesel pushers. For instance, uh, in the Super Cs, there's a, a lot of airbags most of the time. So you have the advantage of having that in a crash. Uh, these days, Class A's still aren't catching up very well in that particular area for safety. But then there's also that big front engine that goes out in front of the RV too in the Super C. So if you have a head-on collision, well, there's a, a lot to go through to finally get to the driver and passenger in the front. But in a Class A, that's one of the issues for safety is the driver and passenger are right there where that uh, front end collision takes place. So for a lot of people, they just simply consider the Super C to be more safe and especially in a front end collision. All right, now the next pro is the access to the engine. 
and uh, the fact that there's a lot more room to work on engine related issues in super C's rather than in class A diesel pushers. And again, that's because that big old engine is right out front, you know, like most commercial truck engines are. And so the mechanic can get right to any part of the engine pretty easily. There's a lot of room to move around. That is not the case with many class A diesel pushers. In fact, uh, you very often find that you have to go in the back bedroom, lift up the floor and uh, to access the engine, get in there to work and mechanics are, you know, laying on their stomach trying to work on that engine and it's really tight in there. There's a lot of uh, diesel mechanics that just will not work on class A diesel pusher engines. Uh, but, you know, when you're talking about that uh, normal uh, diesel engine right out the front there, they're happy to work on that. So that's that's a pro. Now, the next pro is something very closely related to that, and that is that there's simply more places uh, to work on Super C's because of the engine being out front. And that's a big plus. There's there's a lot of shops and so on that will not even accept diesel pushers at all. They just consider it to be not worth their time and effort. But, you know, if you find a, a uh, diesel repair shop that works on commercial trucks, well, then the chances are they'll work on the Super C. So it is a real advantage. Now, the last uh, pro that we're going to mention is that for families, there is extra sleeping arrangements in the Super C. Remember, it's a C, so it's got that iconic front that comes right out over the cab, and that's a great area for a bed for kids. So if you have a family, well then, and you're comparing diesel pusher or Super C and you need more room for sleeping area, the Super C has the advantage in that area. Well, those are the pros. Now let's talk about the cons of Super C's when we compare them to Class A diesel pushers because there's never anything that has it all figured out. So the first con, and this is one that's very often mentioned, is ride comfort in Super C's. Now, to be fair, they're getting better and better about it. But remember, they are built on commercial type truck chassis. So they tend to more ride like a, a commercial truck. And uh, Class A diesel pushers, that's one of the things that everybody loves about it is generally speaking, they usually have higher quality uh, suspension systems so with uh, air suspension and so on. So when you're you know, going down the highway, you're just sort of floating as you go. And a lot of people like that. So for ride comfort, we'll give the advantage to the Class A diesel pusher. Now, the second con for Super C's is that there's less living area per length of the RV. And again, that's because of that big old front engine out there. You know, the diesel pusher, the engine is right in the very back. Uh, like we said before, it's usually right up under the bedroom. So there's not a lot of living space lost. But that front area from the windshield forward on a uh, Class C or a Super C is just lost space uh, so as far as living area is concerned. So if you want more living area for the size of your RV, well, then you got to go with the Class A diesel pusher. Now, the next con is that there's not nearly as many Super Cs being made and manufactured as there are Class As. Uh, again, we mentioned this is getting better. There's more and more manufacturers going along. But the simple truth is there's nowhere near as many uh, manufacturers for Super Cs as there are for Class A diesel pushers. Not even close. And that means, therefore, that there's not as much competition among dealers, uh, you know, selling the same model and so on. So uh, you also will not find as many different floor plans with Super Cs as compared to what you can find with Class A diesel pushers. So it's all a consideration. Now, the next con about Super Cs is, again, that engine's right up there with you. <laughs> there's a lot of things that's both good and bad about that. 
And uh, the engine being up there means you are going to experience some engine noise uh, as you're going down the road. Again, not, you know, so it's really obnoxious, but it is there. In a diesel pusher, the engine is 35 or more feet behind you, and there's a whole coach essentially between you and it. So that's, again, one of the great features of Class A diesel pushers is the quiet and the nice ride you, as you're going down the highway, a lot of people really enjoy that. But in the Super C, you're going to miss a little bit of that quiet uh, as you're going down the road. Now, the fifth con for Super C's is that there's generally not as much storage for Super C's as you get in Class A diesel pushers. And again, has to do with the engine. Because if you put the engine up front, there has to be a drive shaft that comes through the uh, RV back to the rear wheels. And when you do that, that drive shaft takes up vital area that in a diesel pusher you don't have because the engine's in the back pushing. Well, then there's no drive shaft going in between the two uh, axles. So you have complete pass-through storage in many Class A uh, diesel pushers. And uh, so for the subject of storage space, we've got to say that Super C's definitely improve over Class C's uh, in storage, but they're still not usually quite up to what many diesel pushers are able to offer. All right, now that's the pros and the cons of Super C's as compared to diesel pushers. Well, now let's talk about who could benefit from buying either the Super C or the uh, Class A diesel pusher. And, you know, honestly, there could be any number of reasons why people choose either one of them. But a couple of ideas came to mind for me in the Super C area. Those that have a lot of weight that they're towing, you know, maybe you've got a trailer with some really heavy stuff in it. Well, then a Super C has the advantage at that point because they can tow heavy things. The other uh, person that could benefit from buying a Super C is those that have children and they need more uh, sleeping space than, say, a Class A usually offers. Uh, there are some Class A's that have that sleeper bed that comes down over the uh, front cockpit, but there's not very many of them. But the Super C has that sleeping area that comes out over the cab, and that can be big uh, for uh, folks that have families. Now, who would probably buy a diesel pusher? Again, could be any number of reasons, but a couple who really wants to enjoy quiet, nice, soft rides as they're traveling on the highway. Well, then the diesel pusher will certainly do that. Also, those who want as much living space as they possibly can get for the size RV that they have. They just really like elbow room. Well, then the Class A diesel pusher will work for that. But let me emphasize that both kinds of RVs, the Super C and the Class A diesel pusher, they're both great. And they both will give you a great service and provide tons of luxuries and features because they can handle all that weight. Remember, they're both at the very top end of the RV world. And most likely you'll be happy with either one. It doesn't matter what choice you go with. They're both very good RVs. They will get you where you want to go in your RV travels, and they will do it in style. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. <music>